Yeah, well, the, the biggest thing is it just showed a, showed a ton of resiliency. Uh, we've had a, a seemed like a setback with our schedule or with not having having everybody. It's been week after week, and it started right away in week two, and then it happened again a couple weeks later, then another week later, uh, just diff with different groups of guys. And you know, a lot of it that is it that like uh, exposes somebody or somebody taking precautions. So you know, I just can't say enough about our our players, our parents, everybody associated with our program, our administration, for just hanging in there, keeping their chin up, and and being resilient and, and just coming and working day after day. Uh, we, we, we talk about just battling and fighting and clawing and, and our guys have done that uh, day after day, week after week, weight room, practice, meeting rooms. Uh, just really proud of them for that. For your team offensively, you know, Tucker's had a really nice season. He's made a lot of progress from, from what we've seen in years past. So what is the key to having that offense kind of hit the ground running? Because you guys are scoring at a 40, I think it's 42 points uh, per night clip. Um, what is it about the offense that allowed you to have this success? Well, we, we had a lot of guys back, and uh, we have a lot of seniors and, and great senior leadership. So the uh, guys have taken little things seriously, and that was been a big Big emphasis for us this year. Got to take care of the little things. Uh, we uh, may have let a few things slip, coaches, players, everybody, uh, uh, recently and, and, and last year, and that was an emphasis going into it this year, that uh, just take care of little things, uh, be fundamentally sound, and not try to get an X and O fest with people. Let's let's uh, play as well as we can and uh, win games because we're, we're doing well fundamentally and, and we're taking care of little things. Uh, j just similar to what we just talked about. Uh, we... Uh, Lost a close game uh, with them last year, uh, led right up until 30 seconds left in the game. And uh, any, any time you have something like that happen, it, it just it points to uh, one or two little things that you didn't do well. And it, just like I said, that's been our emphasis all year long. And uh, we have learned that. We learned that this year. We had a, a bad half of football and, uh, in the conference, a game that ended up determining the conference championship. And, and uh, that cost us. So uh, it's something that uh, our kids have really been focused on, like I said. Uh, and, and this is a team that they don't have any weaknesses. Uh, you, we, we always try to find something to, to attack on offense, defense, special teams, and then sure have a hard time finding them with these guys. They are really good uh, everywhere and uh, even great in a lot of places. Final question for me, how much are you looking forward to a game like this? Playing a quality opponent, it gives you a good test before the postseason where you yeah. hope to make a long run. And, you know, hopefully having – you haven't had your whole team um, – on the football field very much in their entirety this year. Right. It, will that be the case this coming Friday? And then if so, how nice would that be to kind of get everybody together before the playoffs yeah. actually? Sure, I mean, it, it will be nice. Uh, it's going to be nice uh, to have everybody, and it's nice to have a, a quality opponent like this. I mean, not quite, I mean, these guys are great. And uh, you know, when you play a great team like this, where you play in week one, uh, where you have the entire offense or off season to really focus on it, or you play them now. Uh, our guys know that they have to focus. I mean, we have to be locked in in, in uh, all phases, and uh, uh, that's that's uh, what's great about a game like this, a game of the week. Uh, we're going to have a nice uh, crowd uh, back to kind of normal in that regard as much as we can. But uh, our kids are are excited for this one. Uh, host Eastside. Um, I think we just got to keep working hard like we do every day. We got to get better each step of the day. We got to get today's practice over, and we got to be a little bit better tomorrow. When you take a look at the Angola team, you guys haven't had all your weapons at the same time a lot of times this year. It's kind of been, you know, guys are in and out of the, the lineup uh, based on contact tracing, all that stuff. So, how much do you guys need to get all on the same page this week so that you can make a long run in the postseason? Uh, I feel like we. We're doing a good job of like coming together, even though we don't have some kids. But we have a lot of kids, um, underclassmen, that are stepping up and doing big things. What is it that makes this offense go? Uh, because you guys have scored, I think it's like 42 points a ball game. Um, yeah, we just have a, our, our offensive line. They do a really good job. And then our backs, they take advantage of what our offensive line does. And we stick it in. Defensively, how have you guys been able to have the success that you've had this year? Um, I think we've done a good job. We've uh, we've stick to our jobs and taken advantages when our uh, offense gives it to us. So, what is the coaching staff really stressing this week to get you ready for East Side? Uh, it's we we know it's going to be a dogfight going over there. So, we got to be real physical with them. They're a really good good physical team. So uh, we got to be physical. When you take a look at um, just the the history of this 
rivalry. It's, it's kind of a budding rivalry. You guys have been atop the uh, NECC Big Division standings, competing for conference championships for the last four, five, six seasons. Uh, Eastside kind of the same in the small school division. They got you at their place, 14-13, a one-point game last year. What do you carry over from that? What did you learn from that that you can use this time? And what is kind of this rivalry that's starting to build mean to you guys? Um, it's 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 big for us uh, over here in A-Town. Uh, we uh, we are kind of wanting to go or stay here and be aggressive, um, and hopefully we can get better every day and come out with uh, a good outcome. Final question: What are you most looking forward to about this Friday's game? Um, I I love being out there with uh, with all my teammates, uh, my brothers, and uh, having a good dog fight. Uh, just the same. Uh, the same get after it, the same uh, intensity right from the start and coming out and punch them right in the mouth from the beginning. Tell me about the same goal offense. You guys have been pretty proficient throughout the, the entirety of the season. What is it that makes this offense go and how do you keep that going on Friday? Uh, everyone just knows their job. Even if we don't have everyone there sometimes, uh, next guy steps up, everyone knows their job and uh, it works great because of that. When you take a look at uh, what Eastside does, uh, their offense gets a lot of the uh, the attention, but their defense has been pretty stout this season. What are some of the things that you guys are going to have to do well offensively, specifically against what Eastside does on the defensive side? Oh, uh, we're just going to have to uh, play us and do what we do best with our uh, fundamentals, and uh, we got a good game plan. And uh, if we do what we're supposed to do, uh, we'll we'll have success. This has become kind of a budding rivalry. They've been atop uh, the, the small division standings in the NECC the last five, mm -hmm. six years. You guys have been uh, at the top of the NECC big division for the last five, six years. How much um, familiarity do you have with them, and then how much uh, do you look forward to a game like this where it's two quality football teams going head-to-head -head on a Friday? Uh, we, we really look forward to it just because of the, the competition. Uh, yeah, they're, they're good, but so are we, and uh, we look forward to – competing with them on Friday. Uh, last year, uh, you guys played at their place. They got you, and you can't get any closer, 14-13, a one-point mm -hmm. ball game. How much do you carry over from that? How much does it fuel you guys to, to get a victory against Eastside this time around, considering they have pretty much the same team? Uh, it really fuels us. That was a, that was a hard loss last year, and um, it just makes us want to beat them even more this year. For you guys, your season has been um, – a roller coaster, really, in terms of who's been available, mm -hmm. games being stopped. I mean, I imagine it's getting kind of old for you guys, but how important is it for you guys here in the, the last Friday of the regular season to get things and get everything and get everybody on the same page before it's winter go home time in the playoffs? Uh, it's great. It's great to have uh, everyone back, and um, uh, it really has given us a little boost this week in our preparation. Final question, what are you most looking forward to about Friday night's game? I mean, it's, it's a rivalry game. They're, they're 20, 25 minutes down the road. Hopefully you guys will have a good crowd. Should be a good game. Two of the top teams in the conference going head-to-head. -head. What are you most looking forward to about it? Uh, just getting after it and uh, competing with them uh, and competing with my brothers.